Well, good morning. Welcome to the backyard. I'm Joe. And I'm Tyler. Today we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, well, it's coming up in June, so you know what happens then. We get flies and we get mosquitoes. We get all kinds of ticks. And uh, what we're gonna talk about today is mainly livestock and what we can do to prevent the uh, the hatching of the eggs and, and of course all the flies that are around livestock barns and keep that level down. One of the things that we use in just about all the milk houses, even some facilities, this is an automatic fly dispenser. As a matter of fact, you go into some of your restaurants, they're legal for restaurants, same thing. This exact same product. What it does, this little can goes in here, goes off every 15 minutes, 96 times a day, one can lasts for 30 days. Excellent product, very economical. Some of the other things that we got is a quick fly bait. That's you mix with water. It's a premises spray, you spray down the side, inside of the buildings. What it does is it, it flies land on it, and they eat it and stuff, or they, they, they scrape it and they lick their finger or their feet and pretty soon they die. We have the regular temper, scent perithian. That you mix with uh, different sprays. Sometimes we'll mix it with kerosene or a little bit of diesel fill as well. Uh, I should say kerosene, mostly diesel fill is what it is mixed with. Then we got the, um, we got the dairy bomb, probably the most common. Uh, this here bomb, this is a 4% peptidyl dioxide. That's what knocks the fly down. The perithian is what kills them. But all your really good bombs will have 4% or better. Well, be really, the super bomb is 5%. Um, all of them will have a half percent perithian, but it's the good bombs that carry the peptidyl dioxide at 4 to 5%. That's what breaks them down. Um, this is the one, I, I know that uh, we use a lot of this. We pour this over the backs of cows. Uh, it's five ounces right across the top, the back of the cow. What it does, it keeps the flies and ticks off for up to six weeks. Excellent product. It's, it doesn't harm them. Cause uh, it's really a nice product. We also got some unique ones. In, in a lot of farms, we use this. A lot of households will use it. And it's called Temple. You're probably familiar with it. You mix it with two and a half gallons of water. You spray the premises of your house. I know you were doing it uh, at your yeah. house as well. Yeah, so. a couple things I don't see. We got the fly sticks, the big orange fly sticks that are going to, you know, they'll take away every fly. They'll stick to them. Then uh, they're good to go. You can hang that in your garage or, or wherever, your shed. Um, yeah. Another thing is we have wasp freeze. Later on when the wasps start coming and they're going to make nests, uh, we have that wasp freeze. It's just going to be just a tall little aerosol like this. Um, and then one thing with this, uh, this metered spray, uh, once you get in the winter and you don't have to deal with all those flies, they actually have uh, fragrances that you can uh, smell. Yeah. So it's an automatic meter spray. It's the same exact uh, same exact meter, and you can use it for that, too. Yeah, blueberry, strawberry, yep. you name it. Another real good uh, premises spray is, is StandGuard. Again, it's made for premises spray. And this product here, Nip Niperex, what that is, is that is a, a granular product. Sometimes they put it around a barn facilities and around, uh, around a big, uh, uh, basically, they, some people call them holding ponds or actually manure pits. And that keeps the hatching. It keeps them from uh, from laying their eggs and everything else there. And it's a very good product. The other one I want to talk about real quickly, and that's the Red Lake uh, uh, Blue Earth. This here product, a lot of people put right in the inside of their actual uh, calf huts. And by doing that, what it does is it's such sharp particles that the flies will not will not hatch yeah. there. It lowers the pH. It keeps the smell away. It's just a great product. Same exact uh, product, actually, as far as uh, what's in it. Got calcium bentonite in it, too. But this one, uh, for gardens, throw, throw it around your garden. It's the yeah. same exact principle. Yeah. Uh, one thing, uh, we got Clarify in all of our milk replacer now. Yes. So, uh, you know, that's another that's another way to do that. And then uh, yeah. there's some lick tubs, too, that, that are going to have fly clear, control. Yeah, some fly control yeah. in there, too. Anything we can do to maximize fly control, you just get it back on the on livestock. Excellent product, Hydrolac. This has got nothing to do with flies. What this is, is basically it is Gatorade in a bag. And uh, we feed it to cows, two to four ounces per day. They will consume anywhere between two and five more gallons of water. They retain it in their, in their muscle cells. Uh, excellent product, it, 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 it helps eliminate dehydration. Yeah, once it, it's gonna get hot and once it gets hot, get it before, yes. you know, don't get it when it's too late, get it right away. Yeah, guys, and, put uh, it in May yeah. 1st, you take it out in October, it is yep. that good a product. We also got it in a pill form. And we also got it in a powder form. You can put it in the water itself. So, in that, we got June Dairy Month coming yeah, up. Yeah, so Dairy Month, what we're going to do, uh, skim milk's going to be two for six. That's been that way for a little while, but 1% will be two for six, too. 
Um, and then, uh, let's see, June 22nd till the end of June, we're going to do buy two cheese products, get the third equal or lesser value for free. Uh, if uh, you were at the open house at all, just like that. So we had a pretty good showing at the open house. I think it's June 22nd all the way through the end of June. Yep. We're going to do that. There's another chance for you to stock up with some cheese then because yeah. that's a pretty good deal. So, well, hey, thank you for, for, coming, for tuning in to the backyard. Um, hopefully we, we helped uh, help you understand that we are out there. We are taking care of the cows. And it's, it's really uh, important to us to make sure the cows are, are cool and comfortable in the summer as well and fly, fly free. Thank you. Thank you. Yard. 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 Yard.